We want to completely factor this polynomial. There is no greatest common factor, so we count the number of terms. Because there are four terms, that means we need to try grouping. So I'll group the first two terms and the last two terms together. When I do that, I can see the common factor of x squared in my first two terms, which when I divide out leaves me x plus 2 when I divide an x squared out of each of those terms. In my second two terms, I can see a common factor of negative 5. And when I divide that out, I'm left with an x. And negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2. I can see that this is going to work because I can see the common factor that we have of x plus 2. So when I divide that out from the first term, if I divide out the x plus 2, that's going to leave the x squared. When I divide the x plus 2 out of the second term, it leaves the negative 5 for x squared minus 5. Looking at this to see if it will factor further, it's not the difference of squares because 5 is not a perfect square. So there, and it's certainly not cubes. Therefore, it will not break down any further. So my final completely factored form is x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 5.